Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing all five of these waters. This is a round two water comparison video. I've already reviewed all five of these in round one. If you're new to the whole water review chart thing, I break this up into different rounds and then the winner of each round moves on to the next round. So I've already reviewed all these in round one. If you want like their pH level and more detailed information about them, watch the videos from round one. But here we go. First up we have Abso Pure water. I got this from a hotel on Valentine's Day. Next up is Western Family Spring Water. This is from Utah. Got this last summer. Had this for a while. Next up is this glass water, naturally spring water, Carpatica. Next up is Empire Promos water. It, it does not say that on the label. This is like a company that does custom labels four companies and this is a sample water they sent me and it looks different than the water from round one because it's a different sample label on the bottle it has a suction lid with a cap on it which is nice like a thicker plastic one and that's empire promos next up we have white claw hard seltzer mango this is an alcoholic water it's a spiked water this one, because it was against other White Claw waters in round one, and it was mainly one just based on the flavor. And um, I reviewed this a couple months ago, and I guess you guys didn't see it on video, but I've been drinking a lot of this because I had to buy several cases of this for the first review, and I didn't really make me drinking this alcoholic water an episode because I wasn't sure if it really counted as a water or not, but I've been drinking a lot of this lately just on and off this is 100 calories this has one percent sodium one percent carbs a little bit of added sugars to it so it's it's debatable whether or not this is even a water we went we talked about that in round one but um let's just let's just get into it i don't have any notes at all um this is mainly just a taste test to see which one moves on to the next round here we go Abso pure I recently <coughs> found out that this is included in Lunchables. Somebody left a comment and they're like, hey, you should review the water that's included in Lunchable, like meals for kids. So I looked it up and they, uh, it's made by Kraft and they include Absopure. This is from Michigan, Michigan water. And it's in Lunchables, Absopure. It's like a tight lid, geez. It's a half size lid. Kind of like a Nestle, but kind of like a dirty, almost like a slight dirty taste to it. It tastes like a high TDS. I don't remember what I said about this in round one, but that tastes kind of dirty. It's not terrible at all, but I'm just saying, like, if I'm analyzing it as much as possible, it tastes a little dirty. There's Western Family Spring Water, also with the half-size lid. I think this is a uh, Niagara water. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's bottled by Niagara Bottling. It tastes like a standard Niagara bottle of water. Niagara has, I think, hundreds of different labels they stick on bottles, but it's all um, from Niagara. <clears throat> they all taste very similar because it's mainly like the taste of the plastic um, and just the filtering process. It's all the same. Aqua Carpatica. I might be pronouncing this wrong. This is one of the best bottles I've ever dealt with. I think this was $4 from Salacious Drinks. Very nice lid to it also. Yeah. Actually, there's like a dent in the lid. That's weird. But other than that dent, it's a very nice bottle. Sort of a heavy, heavy uh, texture to the water. I like that they have the suction lid. I feel like these suction lids used to be a lot more common. Now they're uh, pretty rare. I guess people don't like the extra plastic that they use up. It's not bad. Not bad at all. 
I wish I like reviewed foods instead of water because then I could describe it a lot more easily like salty or sweet um, this is kind of just like a water <laughs> it's, it, uh, it tastes a lot like the Brita actually like it's it tastes clean no no major problems with the taste of it if I was drinking this day to day I would have no problems no complaints Here's the White Claw Hard Seltzer. I already know this one's going to lose. Just because it's the least like a water out of all four of these. Come on, it has calories, carbs, sugar, added flavor, sparkling too. I just, I mean, I have to do it because of the, the review chart and brackets. I have to give it a chance, I guess. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. Like, there's no... It's not bad. I, if you want an, a, a water with alcohol in it, I would recommend this. If you want a sparkling, alcoholic, flavored water, this gets a thumbs up for that category. But as far as it just being a water, it gets a thumbs down because it's not very watery. Yeah, I'm just going to eliminate this. I'm not even going to finish it. Out. All right, down to these four. I'm just going to eliminate the Abso Pure. I don't remember there being anything wrong with this the first time I reviewed it, but it's... It tastes a little bit dirty. It's like even you can taste it in the back of your throat, too. I, I think I said, like, good stuff about this in the first few review, but... It's not that great. The new label for this one is for some kind of ATV company. It says, join us at wewanttoatv.com. Tri-County ATV Recreation and Rescue Associations, Inc. is dedicated to building a family-friendly association that provides a safe, secure place to ride legally and ride all the time, 24-7, with limited exceptions uh, for ourselves, our children, and their children for generations to come built by members for members and so like I said this was like a free sample that they sent me and I guess this is just an extra one they had from some previous customer I think the first one they sent me was for some kind of yoga company It's actually it's pretty good, surprisingly. This one has like a sweet, like a fruity flavor to it. Super slight, like you wouldn't even notice it if you weren't thinking about it, weren't concentrating on the taste of the water, but it's like somebody had 10 gallons of water just squeezed like one fruit like, like a handful of berries they just squeezed it into 10 gallons of water and mixed it all in so it's like a super slight super mild taste and flavor but it's slightly there a glass taste to it no smell at all alright I'm going to eliminate this one just for being kind of fruity. Not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just with water, you kind of want it to taste like as much like nothing as possible. So, I wonder if this light will fit on there. No. Last one is too big. Yeah, I'm gonna say that this one is the winner. It's like the most watery water. I, I don't predict this will win overall to be honest 
But I do think out of these five, it's the best. Because it does have like a slight uh, glass taste to it. But I still think just out of these five, it's the best. Anyway, congratulations, Aqua Carpatica. You're moving on to round three.